Good morning, Arlington. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to do another upper body workout, um, Pilates workout. So if you can grab some free weights, dumbbells like these, that'd be great, not too heavy, or your usual baked bean cans from the cupboard. Anything you can find that is something balanced each side that doesn't weigh more than about 1.52 kilograms. So that'd be good. So we're going to start today lying on your back. Take your weights with you. And then just relax yourself down onto the floor, keeping your legs bent, arms relaxed, shoulders down. And allow your knees to fall in, just turn your heels out. So you're just leaning your legs into one another. And that feels quite nice in your lower back. And I just want you to inhale, exhale, gentle tilt to the pelvis. And just rotate your head side to side, maintaining your breath, just keeping that little gentle squeeze through the pelvis. Just mobilizing through the neck. And then bring yourself back into the middle, pausing there, opening those knees out and bringing those feet, knees and hips equally to both sides, keeping your palms pressing down towards the floor. We're going to inhale, float the hips up into a bridge. Just warm me up through the back, through the thighs, through the hamstrings and then slowly rolling back out. Then we curl up into a little crunch, baby crunch. And we lower everything back down again. So we're going to do four like this. Rolling out. Inhaling. Exhale, a little pop, uh, crunch up. And down. In through the nose, out through the mouth. So one more. Exhale, inhale to hold, exhale to roll out. And lift your head, crunch, and drop it down. So we're going to repeat the exercise, we're going to add some arms. You can do this with or without your weights. Yeah, that's the beauty of this, you have that option. So, we take a breath in. As we exhale, we lift the arms up, palms are facing in, taking the arms all the way overhead, soften the elbows slightly, tap the weights to the floor, inhale, exhale, roll all the way out together. Drop the palms down onto the thighs, exhale, squeeze up five times. Three, four, one more, and five, and then roll it down. Tuck the heels in slightly. Lift your body up, taking the arms all the way overhead. Press away. Inhale, exhale, turn your palms in as we return the arms all the way back. Roll it down, landing the palms on thighs. Lift up, five. So as you can see, I'm rolling up the thighs. And three, and two, Last one, roll it down, palms in, lift up the bridge, take your arms all the way back, turn your palms out as you drop to the floor, then lift up, turn your palms in, soften the elbows slightly, roll it down, and curl up for five, and four, and three, two, and one, last one, lift up hips to the sky, reach the arms to the floor, get a strong lift in those hips, I feel myself sliding back, inhale, raise the arms, exhale, roll it down, and let's go, five, reach up further, four, suck that belly in, three, and two, last one, and release your arms and palms down. Take your arms out wide, with or without those weights. This is a really nice way to pin your arms down to the floor. I'm just going to shuffle myself back down a bit because I've come up. Lift those legs to a tabletop. We're going to let the legs fall. And we're going to pull the thighs in. We're going to let the knees float away and swoop through the middle. Over to the other side. Swoop them in. Push them away and roll to the center. 
So they stay at 90 degrees as they roll. You squeeze in through the abs, and then you roll back to center, and repeat the other side. Squeeze it in, and through center. Now, if you want to try something else, we roll in. We lift the head. As we pull the thighs in, we reach to the heel and drop the arm back down, float over to the middle, roll to the other side, lift up, reach in to the other heel, reach out and so on. So it just gives that extra oomph. It's like an oblique squeeze. Make sure you're breathing. Remember, you don't have to do any of these, and you can do the heel touch without the weight. So that's your option. Come on, let's work a little bit deeper now. Lift and squeeze up. Now, if this is feeling too hard, you can drop your feet to the ground and just roll your knees, and then perhaps just lift up and touch in a side twist. And then exactly the same to the other side. We're gonna go two more, guys. One more each side. So this is your easier option just to roll over. Last one. Then come back to the middle, pause there. Raise your legs up to the sky, toes pointed. Bring your arms up, reach up to your toes, and let's pump up. Come on, reach, reach. Reach, extend the legs, squeeze, keep going, slide the belly in, four, three, two, last one, and drop your head, drop your shoulders, open those arms, bend the knees, and drop the knees all the way over. And all I want you to do is just settle in a twist. So perhaps you just bring your knees a little bit further away, to take a little bit of pressure off. If you want deeper, you pull your knees in further. Try and turn your eye gaze the opposite way and push that back shoulder blade into the floor and really feel that lovely rotation. The weight will just emphasize the stretch by adding a little bit more intensity. So another two deep breaths there. And as you inhale, lift those knees up, extend your legs to the sky, lift those arms up, reach up and let's go. We're gonna double it this time, 20 reaches. Three, four, come on, five, six. Options to bend your knees if you wish, but keep the crunch going or you can drop to the floor if you have to. Let's go a little bit further. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and then drop your head, open those arms, and drop your knees to the side. And breathe. So remember, you can slide the knees away, you can pull them closer up, pin that back shoulder, this front shoulder, sorry, down into the floor, eye gaze to the hand, and just let your body rest. Two more breaths. And then just gently lift those knees up. And then drop your feet to the floor. Good. Bring those weights in, take your elbow position and drop them down by your side. You're gonna slide your arms down. You're gonna roll yourself all the way up to seated. So we're gonna do some upper body work with the abs here. So we're gonna do a little bit of a circuit round and you can obviously rest off when you need to and you can make it a little bit easier when you need to. We're gonna do biceps to shoulders to triceps. Our first round is gonna be 20. Our second round is gonna be 15. Our third round is gonna be 10. Okay, we'll have a break after three exercises. So we're gonna roll back. I'm just gonna change my camera angle for you. So. Like I said, I can give you options. If it gets too much, the best thing for you to do is drop the weights, okay? That's as simple as that. Drop the weights and work without them. So you're coming into a quarter or a half rollback. So quarter rollback's about there, half rollback's about there. Push the knees together, 
Bring your arms out in front of you, relaxing your weights to the floor. So remember 20, 20 bicep curls in and out. And you've got to really suck your belly in. Don't let your back take any pressure. If it does, either get a cushion underneath it or just release up a little bit so there's less pressure there. Otherwise, let's go. So we don't want to swing the arms, the upper arms stay nice and still. You're working the lower arms on their own. Five more left here. If you have to extend your legs, that's also fine, okay? It depends on your hip flexors gripping in. And one, turn your palms up, let's go. Up, up. So I am slightly in front. I'm not taking my arms right above my head. I can always see my weight, my peripheral vision. So you always got that slight forward motion. Press, press. Nine, eight, seven, six. Squeeze those abs. Four, three, two, last one. I'm going to lose a weight for this one. So arms up, come up a little bit. And let's go up and down. Now be careful of your back. If it's getting your back, lift up and do this here, holding your core tight to keep that spine straight. Or just drop back slightly. That's as far as you need to go. Bend, bend, 11, 12. Squeeze those thighs, 14, 15, and 16, 17, 18, last two, and one. Roll it forward. Take a breath, turn those toes up. If you can, with your weight, take it around the outside of your feet or catch it with your hand or lose, do whatever suits you. And then just lift up through that spine and slide those legs away and stretch the hamstring. So as you know, I like to bend and extend my legs to get into those hamstrings, so that's your choice. And then lift up tall. Just lean back into your hands, pull your shoulders back and lift your chest. So we're just doing a bit of a counter stretch from that forward, uh, from that flexion of the spine. Okay, you ready? Round two. Grab your weights. Remember, this is a less repetition, so you might want to drop back a little bit further apart from that tricep one. So when you're ready, sink it back, palms forward, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, no, that's wrong. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Turn around, let's go. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. Squeeze those abs. Nine. Eight, seven, power, five, four, three, two, last one. And triceps, drop the weight, come up a little bit. Let's go, 15, 14, 13, options to come to here. 11, squeeze a leg, nine, eight, elbows up, close to the head. Six, five, four, three, Two, last one, and roll it up. Lean forward to begin with. Turn the toes up, catch the feet, lift up tall, so you're stretching your spine, and then slide those legs away. Walk through them if you wish. And then just put the weight to the side, lean back, pull the shoulders back, lift the chest. Okay, let's grab those weights, last round, 10. So let's go a little bit lower if you can. So when you're ready, sink through the spine, turn your palms up, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, stabilize the upper arm, five, four, Three, come on, two, last one, and press. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, squeeze the thighs. Three, two, last one, lose a weight, come up slightly. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, 
seven, elbows in, shoulders relax. Five, four, three, two, last one. Drop it forward. Toes up, heels away. Lift and lengthen before you do anything to get that spider straight as possible. And slide the legs away. Walk through them. Just release the weight down by your side. Sit up tall. So we're going to turn ourselves over and we're going to work doing the upper body on the other side. So all I want you to do is flip around, take the knees nice and wide and just come into a gentle child pose to begin with. So we're going to do some upper body strength into the triceps. So I want you to bring your knees a little bit closer in. Take your hands forward and lift up to the chest. So I'm now lengthening my spine and this is my starting position. We're going to lift off, roll in the spine and then we're going to work those triceps. Dropping down and powering up, curving and lowering back down. Settle the elbows. Look up. Curl the spine, drop your body weight forward. You might want to just do a little bend in the elbows there, pushing back up, and then bring yourself back down, dropping the elbows, take a breath. Inhale, look up. Or you might want to come really far forward, power deep into those triceps, lift it all the way up, drop it up, and sink it down, okay? So if you're not sure about this one, all you're trying to do is rock forward, with a little bend in the elbow, sliding in towards the rib cage, and then you power back and you push back. And that might be as far as you want to go, what I just demonstrated. If you think you can come down all right, you might not come back up. So that's where you need to really think about the strength of your body. So just keep going through your own breath, through your own time. Maybe just do a half push, press back up, and then settle it back down again, relaxing the elbows. So three more. Inhale. Take it slow. Settle it down. Inhale. And down. Last one. And if you want to just rest here and do so for 20 seconds, drop the head, drop the elbows. If you want a little bit more challenge, look up, lift up, drop down halfway, guys, and then pulse. Pulse. Pulse, not too fast. Two, last one, and then sink it back. Head down, chest down. So we're gonna come into a plank push-up rotation. Great exercise. So you do not need your weights for it. And the option is to come down to your knees. So I'm gonna demonstrate before you even start. Usually I try and get you to come with me straight away. So I'm gonna start with my elbow on the floor and my hand out to the side, I'm up on my toes. I'm gonna do a push-up. And as I push back up, I swivel and do a little side plank. Then this arm comes down to join the other arm, a middle coming to the center and the back arm goes out and I lean and I push up that side, swivel and squeeze. Then both arms come together as I turn around. My front hand comes back out again. I push up and turn and squeeze. Both arms to the floor. Join me now, hand out. Push up, swivel around, squeeze into that side plank. Both arms back down to the floor. If you want to do this on your knees, do it on your knees. Front hand out, push up, turn, knees stack, twist. Knees unstack, both arms down, back hand out to the side, push up. Swivel around, squeeze that shoulder blade back. You've got it, yeah? Twist around, both arms to the floor. 
front hand out, push up, swivel around and squeeze. Both arms down, back arm out, push up, swivel around, squeeze. Now we're going to do one more. So on this one, swivel around, take that front hand out and give me five and four. You can stand your toes if you wish. Three. Come on, power it up. Two. Last one. Turn around, face me, and squeeze. Squeeze. Three, four, and five. Turn it around into the middle. Take that back hand out. Let's go. Five, four, three. Make it strong. Two. Last one, and turn around, lift up and press. Five, four, three, two, last one. And then roll it back, come into a plank, come up if you can, and give me 10 jacks. You don't have to, you can just stay here. Going. And when you've done your last one, take it down and settle yourself into child's pose or a cat stretch if that's more suitable. Dropping your head and chest, letting your arms completely relax. Calm your breath down. And then gently just roll yourself up. Swing your feet around in front of you. And come down onto the floor. Take hold of those weights. So just make sure you've got some room around you. I'm just gonna swivel down a little bit. You're going to take those feet, knees and hips all in the same alignment again. You're going to roll up and the arms are going to come up with you. So here's your starting point. You're going to open your arms out. You're going to take them all the way around the head to meet. Bring them all the way back and bring them back above that chest. Keeping your bridge the whole time. And of course, you can lose the weight if the arms don't like it. You can drop out of your bridge and do the arms if you need to. But keep thinking about glutes fired up, those buttocks are fully on. Pressing deep into the thighs. My arms are always slightly hovered off the ground. Five more in those arms. Squeeze up in those hips. Last two. And as soon as you've done that last one, open the arms and roll it carefully out. Always allow your spine just to settle back to its neutral position. Good. So we're going to fire up those abs again. What I want you to do is just roll very sussy over into the buttock, the knees fall over, and then you're going to bring this arm, turning your palm down, and this one comes to here. We hover the legs and we're gonna squeeze in, reach to that foot again, and then kick the arms and legs away to about there. So if your arm goes further, it's gonna really hyperextend your shoulders about there. Pull in, kick away. So options, drop your weight and do it about your weight. If that still feels a little bit too much, then just simply drop your lower leg and work the top leg on its own. And you're lifting up subtly onto this arm on the floor and lengthening away. Those of you that wanna make it more challenging, perhaps if your leg's straight and kick away. Four more guys. Come on, last two. Last one, let's hold it in. Squeeze, squeeze, now extend your legs. Lift that arm, three, two, and one. Drop it down and just bring yourself over onto your back again. Relax. 
take a breath. Okay, we're gonna go straight over into the other side. So you can either just turn yourself over onto the other side or lift your arms, roll yourself up and then just swivel around and bring yourself down. So your arm here settles out to the side. This one comes to the side of the head. Your knees come up to the floor. So we curl in, reach and kick the arms and let the arm and legs away, pull in, kick away. And as I pull up, I come up subtly onto that elbow that's on the floor and then I kick away. So remember, that's too much. Drop that bottom leg and work the top leg on its own. You're still going to feel your obliques working out. Or if you want more of a challenge, you do the leg is extended, reaching up and out. Squeeze and down. So it's your poison. You choose it. Let's go four more. Last two. Last one. Hold, hold. And extend the arms, extend the legs. Squeeze those thighs in. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it down and bring yourself. Over onto your back again. Woo, settle down. So when your spine settles, brace those abs again. Bring the feet a little bit closer in, take your feet a little bit wider. So make sure you're in the center of your mat and your buttocks. Raise your legs out, turn your toes out. And then just squeeze your butt up and down. If you want to make it harder, take the weights into your thighs and just use that. So it's actually very hard to do hip elevations with the feet turned out. So just squeezing up, squeezing up and squeeze your butt. Six more. Five, come on, press it up. And three, and two. And one, drop it out. Release the weight. Good. Walk the feet in. Take a breath. Lift the legs, tabletop, arms to tabletop. We're going to inhale, lift up towards the toes. Exhale. Extend the arms and legs away. So note that I am not going too far. My arms and legs are going to about a 45 degree angle and I'm pulling in. If I go lower than that, I'm gonna strain my shoulders and lift my lower back off the floor. We're all built differently, so you choose what goes for you. Work as hard as you can. If you don't wanna do the legs, just do the arms into a crunch and then come back down. Or if you don't want to do the arms at all, you can just do your legs and then a little curling. Legs, little curling. Okay, so make sure you choose different options that suits you. So really embrace, keep breathing through it. Suck the belly in, lift that bottom as you pull in, lengthen the arms and reach. Five more. Slow it down. Three, last two, and let's go that last one. Squeeze now, hold here, drop your palms down, and let's pump, 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 pump. Palms in if that feels wrong on your shoulders. Extend your legs if you want more. Reach, reach, eight, seven, six, five. Come on, lift those shoulders. Two. And one, drop the weight, hug your knees, and just roll it in. Lovely. And then just drop your feet to the ground. Take your arms together, take a full arm stretch overhead. 
whilst you're there, take that ankle across that thigh, lift that back thigh in and come and catch around the thigh and take it into buttock stretch. If you're particularly flexible, you might be able to catch the shin, but try and keep your bottom on the floor and your head and shoulders on the floor. Take a little bit more weight over into that back buttock and open out this front knee so you're feeling that stretch through the buttock and thigh. And then when you're ready, just swap the legs over. So take that ankle cross. Just take an arm stretch before you come into that buttock stretch. Reach up through the rib cage, soften the rib cage, lift that thigh in, then bring the hands forward and catch around that thigh or shin, head down, shoulders down, wade into the front buttock, open that back knee and just feel that stretch. We've got a good five deep breaths here to settle down. And keeping hold of that thigh, slide that leg up and roll yourself up. So one more time, we're going to stretch out those hamstrings, this time catching your feet. If you have a band or a strap, feel free to use that. Lift yourself up, slide those legs away and fold. Walking through those legs if you wish. We'll just breathe into it. Feel the stretch across the lower back. Don't force anything. Inhale, look up, look forwards, look up, roll up. Okay, just lean into the hands, lift that chest again like we did earlier. And we're going to come into a little twist. So I want you to take the front foot over the back leg. You're going to wrap that back arm around the thigh, lift up tall and just take it into rotation. We're just looking across the shoulder. Twist from the waist, lift your spine a bit taller. And then take your eye gaze forward, release. Swap the legs over, so cross that foot over that leg. Wrap the front arm, hands face the spine, lift up tall and turn. And then bring yourself back around. From here, turn yourself around and then just simply come into this position, walking your feet in towards your hands and your hands to your feet. Soften those knees, grab hold of your elbows and just swing say, side to side, just swaying the body, allowing that give. Don't take any tension, just allow it to do what it wants to do. And I want you to keep your arms where they are and just begin your roll up slowly through the body. So just keep your arms hanging, close your eyes. And as you bring yourself up to the top of your rolling position, you bring your arms on top of your head, let your shoulders relax. Gently come over to the side, taking a side stretch, looking under and pulling that shoulder and that elbow back behind you, but stay equal weight on both legs. Then inhale, come back to center, and then side bend over to the other side. Lift that elbow, shoulder. Breathe. And then inhale, come back to the middle. Release your arms up to the sky. Take a breath in, 
and exhale, bring your hands down, give yourselves a bow and a clap. As always, thank you for tuning in to my Pilates session and I will look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.